Okay, how to buy your own domain name and forward it. You know, that's simple. Uh, just watch the video, and if you can do this on a home computer, it might be easier where you can kind of, you know, just go to GoDaddy, search for a cool name. If you do get it, you can simply forward it. And other similar places like GoDaddy, like Domain.com, and I, I know there's a whole bunch of other companies. I've been with GoDaddy, I think, 25, 30 years, ever since the they were formed. Uh, I've had really good success with GoDaddy, so that's what I'm going to use. Okay, if you look at my <laughs> if you look at my page here, I was going to search for just something that's already taken and something that's open. Uh, as you can tell, I myelbowhurts.com. Okay, so it looks like it's open, but if you type in myelbowhurts.com, see when you hit enter. And I just wanted to go through the process. It just says right there. See, it's for a dollar. Okay, and you can register it up to five years if you want. You can, you know, just hit make it yours. And right now, by the time you pay just for the domain name with tax or whatever, it's about eleven dollars. Sometimes it's it's as low as ten, and sometimes it goes to about twelve bucks. It seems like there's just always promotion codes with GoDaddy. Uh, man, I think I own 90 of these now, uh, which is a pain in the butt every year when I got to renew them all. But, but if you want to buy my elbowhurts.com, it is open because whenever it says like a penny and then you hit make it yours, you'll see. Now there's upgrades. You can do privacy stuff. You can get an email address. So for example, contact at my elbowhurts.com. <laughs> and I'm just being a smart ass. You can buy this if you want. You know, it's like 11 bucks, but let's just do something else like my elbow. What else hurts? How about your butt? How about my butt hurts .com? I want to show you what one looks like. Okay, well, someone thought it was in their best interest to buy my my butt hurts .com. <laughs> Damn it, I I think I would have bought this damn thing if I could have. That would have been funny. Okay, guys. Uh, if you'd like to join my live good team, go to mybutthurts.com. <laughs> well, see how it's taken. If it's taken, don't waste your time. Do you see this guy here in this small little circle? For $70, this, this animated thing will pretend to get a hold of somebody to buy mybutthurts.com. It's just a waste of 70 bucks in my opinion. Now, if you absolutely want to try to buy a domain that's already taken, you can go ahead and, and, and what this is, is just a broken brokerage service, I guess. Maybe a broker service is better uh, description, but what they will do is they'll contact probably through email or whatever contact information. This person who I, I really do want to know who owns my butthurts.com. I would love to do it. I just want to do a zoom call and see if he, I mean, that'd be funny if you're a distributor of preparation H, but you know, if live good, you know, maybe I can get a hold of Ben, our CEO, and say, hey, do we have any type of Preparation H similar products? Like, I want to go, guys, we have CBD oil and protein powder for wholesale. But if your butthole hurts, you know what? If you have a membership of only $9.95 a month, you can buy this butthole cream for only $5. So if you'd like to join my website, go to mybuttholehurts.com. <laughs> Man, count me in. Count me in. I love it. So... Okay, hopefully you have a sense of humor. If you're a young kid watching this or religious, I know this video and my personality is kind of hard to take, and I apologize, kind of. Okay, now, mybutthurts.com is taken, but my elbow is available. Okay, so let's just go into my account here for real. See how I hit my products right there? So to do it again, when you if you do have a GoDaddy account, see my name, drop down, hit my my products right there. Okay. Then the next page is this one right here. Uh, and if, for example, you, <laughs> I wish I didn't put my. Okay, let's just use myelbowhurts.com. If myelbowhurts.com, you did buy it. Do you see the very first top page? It says domains. Okay, that. That's where it'll be. So since it starts with an M, most of the time when you just put, you know, when you click in like manage all or, or whatever, it'll just show a whole bunch of websites that you own. Now, if you only own one website, it's going to be just here on this first page right at the very top. I've got quite a bit of domains, as you can see. But let's just, I own Big Planet Marketing. 
com. So if you're on this page in, in let's say right here, big planet marketing says my elbow hurts.com. Do you see the three little dots right there? Just click them once and then see you go down and it says edit DNS hit edit DNS. Okay. Now it's this page. Okay. Scroll down and you're going to see the word forward which is right there. Okay. Now on this page right here, just make sure it says bigplanetmarketing.com for me and for you, for example, myelbowhurts.com. What you're going to do is you're going to tell where, what page to go to if they do click your domain, whatever that is. Okay. Now this is for my live good uh, pals. If you haven't joined or if you have joined, okay, there's the easy commission. That's the number one guy in live good. His name is Jeff. Jeff uses this. He designed it. He's on his way to 700 people just on his front line, meaning just one person that he's signed up. He's got almost 700. He's just blowing everyone away. And he uses the easy commission. This is something you can use if you want. I'm just showing you examples right now. So if they go to mybigplanetmarketing.com, I can forward it to this capture page or this is the official capture page of LiveGood. Now, if you're not mass producing or buying leads or doing stuff like that you can always just have your capture page as this this is awesome uh, i got a buddy and eric if you're watching this hello i know eric when you click his it goes right to this and he's he's a, i think he's in the top three out of two hundred fifty thousand people does he know what he's doing hell yeah he does so for example if i use bigplanetmarketing.com and i forward it to this capture page that's, do you see this right here? Livegoodtour.com forward slash Corey Draper. My username is Corey Draper. You know, that's my real name. So what you would do is if you want to forward to this capture page, let's say your name is Bob Smith and that's your username. You would just go ahead and highlight this whole thing. HTTPS all the way over forward slash. It'd say Bob Smith, for example. So you would just click this whole line right there. And I'm using a Windows uh, computer, so I just right click and then I hit the word copy right there. And then what I do is I just go over right here. Now I'm using this for an example. Okay, so you go over all the way to this little pen looking edit thing right there. I'll just circle it. I don't even know what that is. It looks like a pencil. Okay, click it and then see where it opens up this next box. Now, if you remember, this one is a private, see it's an HTTPS. So what you want to do is make sure, see the drop down box? There's an HTTP and an HTTPS. So what I'm going to do is click the HTTPS. And then if you remember, it's livegoodtour.com forward slash Corey Draper. So I'm going to put in right here, livegoodtour, Corey Draper, permanent. Okay, see that little circle right there? And then right here, I'm going to click the word save. Okay. So to go back through the process, let me see if my back button will work here. I don't know if I have to go to godaddy.com. But if you just watch my video, just go real slow. Take your time. Sign into godaddy.com. And, <clears throat> excuse me. Let me just go to the home page. Let me take a drink. For some reason, my throat's messed up here. <clears> throat> Nothing like clearing your throat on a live video. Okay, so see this right here, the box. It says search for a new domain name. I think I kind of forgot to go over what that is, but if you watch the video, you can clearly see. GoDaddy.com, search for a new domain name. Okay, and I used MyElbowHurts.com. Uh, let's say Big Bad Voodoo Daddy.com. That's a big, that's a popular name, and I love that. I'm sure it's taken because there's a famous band here in America called Big Bad Voodoo Daddy. Okay, so just remember, it's taken, okay? <clears throat> and I recommend not trying to buy it from the band. <laughs> now, you can always do BigBadVoodooDaddy.net. One thing about GoDaddy is they always suggest other things that are open. I think most people will tell you, try to get a .com, and if they don't have a .com, and if you don't mind a .net, that is usually another one that's usually the second. And then if it's kind of educational, 
or if you don't mind your name, like big, like I own CoreyDraper.net, CoreyDraper.com. I also own CoreyDraper.org, and I use all three of them. But if you don't mind the .org, sometimes that looks professional, like you're an organization, like FBI.org. <laughs> you're like, wow. But there's .us, .club. There's a lot of .dot, you know, .dot blanks, you know. But most people try to get a dot com it's just by far the most recognized uh one thing that's kind of popular is if you can get your own name that's awesome so if your name is bob smith it's kind of cool if you can own bobsmith.com it's kind of nice if you own joinbobsmith.com work with bobsmith.com they're kind of nice names just remember you're going to maybe do video one day or maybe you're just going to go ahead and do things on tiktok or uh, Instagram, Facebook, all all forms of social media are great because most of them are free. Okay, so if you can get a short domain name, that's always better. You don't want to get like I like to work with CoreyDraper.com at LiveGood. I mean, you're like, oh my god, you know my domain name is this long, and that's that's a little tough. But I was able to get JoinCorey.com. I also bought JoinCoreyDraper.com, and I was able to get them all just for like eleven bucks. Uh, that was really nice. CoreyDraper.com. Here's a side story just real quick. I owned CoreyDraper.com for a lot of years. I let it expire like 20 years ago. And I had to buy it back for 1500 bucks because the person saw that I was in radio and that I have a lot of momentum in what I do. So I had to, uh, some butthole bought CoreyDraper.com. And it was my fault. I have only my own ass to kick. And I had to buy it back for $1,500. So I put 300 down and I did $100 a month. And then I had to buy my own domain back. <laughs> so that was a learning lesson. So I'm just warning you, if you really do like your domain, just make sure that you don't let it expire. And if you do buy it from GoDaddy, they'll let you know that it's expired. But I don't know what. I was just busy. I had just a real busy life back then. And I let the expiration go or someone. And usually what it is, is it's a professional company that buys them. It isn't some guy. Some guy named Corey Draper didn't buy it. It was a professional company that, that they're headhunters. They, they purposely go out and try to buy domain names that have some type of activity to where they know it's a value to somebody. So I learned the hard way and, and it was my own fault. I'm not bitching. Uh, but anyway, GoDaddy, I've had good, uh, you know, and I don't make any money off GoDaddy. I don't have an affiliate. I guess maybe I should if I talk about it. But if you like GoDaddy, um, I'm not going to be shocked because I've, I've used them for so many years, 25, 30 years. I have a radio station, live streaming. I have massive accounts with GoDaddy. They have solved every single issue I've ever needed since birth of GoDaddy. And I think they're in Arizona because I, whenever I call them, it's a 480 number. So, all right, this, this video is just for people looking to buy a domain name and how to forward it. And obviously, if you just go to the first of my video, just go to GoDaddy.com, find yourself a domain name, purchase it, and then go into my products and just follow my page, pause, follow my page, pause. And if you just want to hook up for the first time your link that goes to the Live Good Capture page, that's what I recommend. So you at least have something. And then you can always go back and whatever capture page you use, because there's a lot of good ones. This one I love. This girl on the boat, I want to go with her right now and uh, work with Live Good. I, I'll, she can hire me right now. If I can just drive the boat, she can drink. This is uh, used by Ed in uh, Europe, and that's a great capture page. I think he does a good job. And this one, like I said, this is just the main one to Live Good. No matter what, when people sign up, they have to go through this website to get the ball rolling. Okay. And this is the one that I, I recommend that if you get a brand new domain name, just link it to this one for now. And then if you want to go ahead and work with the easy commission, or even if you want this, I have, I have all the information on how to use this capture page or even this one, which I think is number one as I make this video May. It's about May 8th of 2023. Uh, and there's lots of cop capture pages. I mean, the Job Free Revolution, they've got a capture page that, that I have. Uh, but with LiveGood, all you can do is kind of test. You know what? If, if, if you are getting traffic, however, like by posting uh, with LiveGood or posting with uh, just Facebook, if you even have like 10 leads a day or at least 10 people, what I mean by that are 10 people are at least clicking it 
and looking at LiveGood or looking into the products or just using the information to make a decision to be a, an affiliate, all you can do is just test. If Easy Commission seems like it's working, great. It is for Jeff. He's got seven, almost 700 people, but obviously he has a whole campaign of emails and it is Jeff promoting a Jeff uh, you know, infrastructure. So obviously he has an advantage there. But then again, uh, when you watch Jeff talk, he's really good at talking. But but you see, if you look underneath uh, my video right now, it says lock in your spot with our team. What that does is it, it, it transfers it to your live good page. Okay. And this is other stuff that I, but see, when they click this right here, this orange button, it will go directly to this right here. Just like it'll go to yours. And how you can tell if you configured it right. See, it says, Welcome to Corey Draper's website. That's that's how you can tell that you got it configured right. And obviously here, where the livegoodtour.com is, it'll it'll always have your, uh, what's it called, uh, your domain name right there. Or your username right there. Boom. All right. Well, that's another video. I just wanted to make one uh, where it just shows how to join GoDaddy and forward it to whatever. You know, you can forward it to whatever you'd like. So, okay, thanks for watching my video. I always have another one that pops up right up here on the top left and at the bottom right of this video. Watch them. You know, hopefully they can help you out with LiveGood or any business that you might have online. All right, take care, guys. We'll see you next video.